Hi guys, bonjour, hola. In this Photoshop tutorial lesson, I want to show you how to create this amazing neon effect on your image. So the first thing we want to do is that you want to go pick up your brush tool and you want to make sure that you set your brush thickness. So we have our layer selected. Use your left and right bracket to make your brush a little bit smaller and then just test it to see the thickness. Right click, it will bring up the brush options. You want your hardness to be at a zero. So when you draw, it's a straight line. So I'm going to delete these by pressing Command D and we are going to reduce our brush head just like this. Now I'm going to pick up my pen tool and I'm going to draw. So I'm going to choose that point, choose this point, choose that point and then close it off. Now we are going to add a new layer. So click on the plus icon, add a new layer and we are going to go ahead and right click and then say stroke path and a new window will come up. Just click on OK and that applies it. Now you can double click on your rectangle. So the first effect we're going to add is the color overlook. So click on your color overlook. Typically it will give you a default gray, but we, instead of having something like this, we want to have something more in the purple-ish and we are going to go ahead to click OK. And the next effect that we want to apply is the inner glow. Now we want to click on the inner glow and I want to show you what I have. The blend mode is set to linear light and you notice that my color is white and also notice that my opacity is at 100. Now you can reduce it a little to give it that fuzzy effect. Now my source it's center so i'm going to zoom in so you want to make sure that for your contour you choose the half round and you want to make sure that your choke is zero and your size is at five we want to go ahead and add an outer glow now double click on it and typically if you have it set on a different color make sure you choose the same similar uh, purple color you notice that my blend mode is on linear dodge and my opacity, I took it from 100 and I set it around 75 or so. Now that is good enough. And you notice that my size is at nine, spread is at three. And with this set, we want to go ahead and add a drop shadow effect that will enhance our um our color so if you click on the drop down you notice that with my drop down my blend mode is also a linear dodge and with my distance and sprite i have both a zero and i've taken my size all the way up if i increase my spread you see that it makes it bigger so i just want to take down my spread so it's not too much so basically keep your spread to zero and take your size all the way to 250. Now we can go ahead and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our brush and this time we are going to increase it, make it a little bit bigger like that much and we are going to right click and make sure that we take the hardness all the way to zero. So when we paint, we have this fuzzy look. So command D to deselect. Now pick up your brush again, pick up your pen tool and trace over your rectangle that you already have like that. Close it off, add a new layer. You want to make sure that your background color is the same purple and click OK. Now right click on the line and then choose stroke path. Make sure that you choose your brush uh, stroke path and then click OK. Now this is the effect that it will give you. Now we want to go ahead and change our blend mode of this to linear dodge. So with this set we want to make sure that this line is not on the face of our subject. So what we are going to do is we are going to go under our quick action pick the object selection tool 
and then make a selection around the face of the subject. You notice that Photoshop just made a selection of your subject for you. Now we want to go ahead and hide that portion of the line. So click on that layer and we are going to go ahead and inverse that layer by going to select and then choose inverse. Now we are going to add a layer max to that line and it basically hides that portion. We can do the same thing for the top one as well. So we can hold down command, make a selection of this portion and then being on the right layer, we are going to add a layer max and basically it hides that for you. Now, if we want to make sure that we have a good blend between the two, all we need to do is add a new layer Make sure your foreground is the same as the purple. Pick up your brush tool, make one dab here, make another dab. Now we are going to change this blend mode, linear dodge, so that we get this glow effect still blending in. Now the next thing we want to do is to add a hue adjustment. So go to your adjustment and add a hue adjustment. Now, what we are going to do is that we want to make sure we scroll down and choose colorize. Now, this allows you to basically blend in all of the colors at the same time. So you have this cool effect on your image. You're going to add a new layer, pick up your brush tool, make sure that this time you click on your foreground, choose a different color. We're going to go with a blue. I'm going to click OK, increase your brush head and just pick some points where you want to add some blues. Now we want to change this blend mode for this layer. We're going to set it at I'm going to choose soft light and I'm going to drag and drop this image in. I'm going to increase it so it fills up my screen. I'm going to double click. Now we want to change I'm going to click OK because we need to convert this to a smart object. Now I'm going to change the blend mode of this to screen. Now we know that screen hides everything that is black and I'm going to reduce the fill so it's not too much. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye all.